Hey everybody, welcome to the real United States and welcome to downtown Washington, D.C. We are here at the James Garfield Memorial, uh, right next to the Capitol of the United States and right across from the um, Botanical Gardens. And this is, I think, the only memorial to Garfield, but it's right here in front of the Capitol building, which I thought was pretty cool. It's kind of a, you know, special place. Now, Garfield was in office only four months. Uh, he was elected in 1880 and then took office in March, which was the custom at the time of 1881. But he was assassinated four months later, roughly, um, in the fall of, uh, of that same year. So he only served in office for four months. and. Uh, he was assassinated by a disgruntled office worker, um, whatever that means. Somebody else who was seeking a public office and didn't get it and apparently uh, thought that uh, Garfield was to blame. Now, Garfield served in the House of Representatives, uh, I believe it was four times um, prior, and in fact was elected to the United States Senate. But upon being elected to uh, the presidency, he declined the office in the Senate, of course. I mean, why would you run for one and then not take it, I suppose, you know, but you could offer something better. So he was the only person in American history who, to be elected to the presidency, who was a sitting member of the House of Representatives. Usually people that come to the presidency uh, either uh, have served previously or have, are members of the Senate or are governors of states or generals, but he was the only person who was a, technically a sitting member of the House of Representatives to be elected directly to the presidency. So I guess that's his unique place in history, at least you know for now, and if somebody else ever does, he'll at least be the first that ever had that happen to him. Um, anyway, beautiful bronze memorial to him with these other figures. Now, I'm not sure what exactly these figures are. I think they're supposed to represent ideals like justice and passion and those sorts of things, but I'm not certain. Now, he was um, a major general in the Army, uh, member of Congress, Senator, and President of the United States of America. And like I say, these dudes that are out here all look pretty rugged. I don't know, but I think they are designed to represent ideals that Garfield stood for. So that's their, their artistic, aesthetic purpose there. And it's a lovely monument. But again, it's one of those things that gets overlooked because it's in this little traffic circle. And when tourists come here, people who don't live here come here, they're focusing on seeing the Capitol building. Oh my God, there's the United States Capitol building. And this gets lost in the, in the background noise. And it shouldn't because it is a beautiful monument to a fellow whose presidency was tragically cut short. I don't know a great deal else about his presidency back in the 1880s. Um, I mean, he was fortunate in the respect that he, I'm sorry, uh, came into office after the Civil War. The, the Union had been reestablished. So, uh, you know, he caught a break there and then had this tragedy befall him. But I don't really know what to tell you about his presidency because it didn't have, he didn't have time to really accomplish much. Anyway, I just thought you'd enjoy seeing this beautiful bronze monument to our 20th president, James Garfield. And if you've got questions or comments, I'll do what I can to answer them. I love hearing from all of you. I try to get back to everybody I can. So please drop a comment in the comment section down below. Hey, if you're new here, well, welcome and thanks for joining us. Hopefully you'll choose to pick subscribe and come along for the adventure because we got lots more to show you. And as always, thank you for watching.